about a week ago I joined the Amazon affiliate program it's free to join you need to have a website where you promote products that type of thing and it seems stupid not to join because if I actually promote products and they sell them on Amazon if I put special links at the bottom of my videos and you guys click on them then I get a small commission for everything that uh, you buy and you don't pay any extra, you pay exactly the same price as you would if you were just logging on normally to Amazon. But it just means that if you buy something on my recommendation, then I get a little bit of money. So it makes perfect sense for me to do that. So anybody that's trolled through all my boring videos on this channel will see that in the past, I've actually put videos online of me sat outside drinking a nice malt whiskey because I really do like malt whiskey. So much so that I've had to confine it to weekends now. So on a weekend, I allow myself a nice malt whiskey. Now, I've previously always bought my whiskey from Sainsbury's or Tesco's or somewhere where I've gone out and looked at the price, waited until a malt comes on offer, and then gone out and bought it. But I discovered about a year ago that they sell malt whiskey on Amazon, and I wasn't aware of this until I had a look. And for the most part it's considerably cheaper than it is in the supermarkets now I can only say that for the whiskies that I like I prefer a whiskey with a little bit of peat in it for example this Bomo is a whiskey that I like but there are several whiskies on there that I buy on a regular basis and the prices fluctuate up and down so it's worthwhile checking whenever you want to buy a bottle of malt on the Amazon web website and searching for the lowest price Another thing that I'll say is that will maybe make a difference to you, it might not, I don't know, is that I'm an Amazon Prime customer, so all my postage is paid for, and usually they get delivered within two days, it's not always next day delivery. And the other thing that you need to be aware of is that there needs to be somebody at home to sign for the bottle, because you have to be over 18, so you can't just get it delivered while you're at work. Somebody needs to sign for the bottle. Other than that, I've spent quite a lot of money on Amazon buying malt whiskies from there. I don't buy expensive ones, I tend to buy the cheap ones. And because the prices fluctuate up and down, I've got three or four of my favourite whiskies in there. So what I'll do is I'll log on to Amazon and show you how I go about picking a malt whisky and getting it delivered. And you guys can have a look for yourself. If you fancy buying a malt, then you might find, you might not, I don't know, that it's cheaper to buy it from Amazon than it is from a supermarket. And the good thing is, if you don't want it immediately, you don't have to leave the house. It gets delivered to your door. So as you can see, there's an order I made on the 25th of March. That was for that particular bottle that I've just showed you, which is a Beaumont number one single malt Scotch whiskey, 70 silliliters. And as you can see, I paid £20.70 for that. And because I'm a prime customer, then I got free delivery. I'll show you some of the ones that I buy on a regular basis now. I regularly buy Harland Park because that is a whiskey that I enjoy. And as you can see, that's £25. Now that price fluctuates, but it's quite often on there for £25. And that is a very nice malt whiskey. The Talisker Sky Single Malt, yes, that's very peaty, and I buy that on a fairly regular basis as well. And then there's a Beaumont, and as you can see, it's £29.85. And this is one I buy all the time, the Ardmore Legacy Highland Single. And that's £18.90. Now that price fluctuates slightly as well, but it is regularly on there for £18.90. So if I was to buy that now and click on there, that would be delivered tomorrow. It cost me £18.90 and that's because I'm a prime customer. Now this doesn't work perfectly and you need to be careful because if you look at that Glenlivet there, that's only for 35 silliliters, so that's half a bottle. So you really would be paying £24 for a bottle of whiskey for that. They've also got some blends in there as well. And I dare say that the same thing would work for gin, rum, brandy, anything you really want to look at. But you can see there that there are an awful lot of whiskies in there for £20 or less. And hopefully that would cater for any sort of taste. But for someone like me that just likes a malt whiskey, and I, you know, I actually really do enjoy the, the Ardmore Legacy, this is a brilliant way of getting it delivered to your door, cheaper than you can buy in the supermarkets. So I hope you found that interesting, and certainly it's a service that I use all the time. Now, this is the Boma, this is my grandfather's old top glass. And when I was young, when I used to go around to his house, he always used to give me a tot of rum in this. So I'm going to raise a glass to my granddad, and also to you guys. Cheers. I hope you found this useful. Lovely.